What is going on guys? Today we are here with another tier list with a lot of nice cards that will be ranked in this new edition. Like I do say with all of these, these are all opinion based. It is what I've used. It is who I've recommended, seen and obviously had a look at myself. So if you have got a different opinion, let me know down below. Some players might work better for your style compared to mine. I want to know in the comments and let's get started. So to start with, we have Timo Werner for birthday. A beautiful card. Honestly, very, very underrated in terms of what he's kind of done back at Leipzig. And I absolutely love this card going forward. Very quick, very good at his finishing, and just an overall nice card to use. Obviously, I don't think he's quite S material, but most definitely a S at the minimum. Next is Veghorst, and a brilliant striker as an SPC. Shame he didn't get the upgrade, but most definitely a nice card going forward. Adds a different kind of variable to the card. He's big. He's obviously got a bit of pace on him. Still not necessarily the greatest amount of dribbling, which you can imagine from somebody who is, I think, 6'6". But in terms of finishing, absolutely outstanding. It's going to be another one. He's going to be another one that will make his way into that AS. Voller is next with, again, a very standard card that we've seen since the World Cup. Hopefully, there is a point in time where he does actually get himself an upgrade. But for now, he's going to stay as this World Cup card. Three star, four star, definitely could do with a next level up. Maybe a 93 would be a really good shout. But I can imagine if they're not doing any heroes in team of the season, then obviously we should get that at the end in footage. But who knows? We've not seen anything from team of the season yet. But he is another one that will continue his run in the AS category. Vlahovic. Not a bad card, but most definitely starting to, to really lose his factor, to be honest. But in terms of what you could get from him out of this card, I just think he's a little bit now on the stale side. We've had big upgrades, especially with the icons and heroes that have come out. For me, he's going to be sitting in that A at the minute. We then have our foot birthday, Vinny, and it's quite an easy one with him. He is straight into the S and being the first one on the category. We then have Van Basten, who most definitely is a beautiful card. Still a little bit stiff. Not going to say he's going to be completely transformed from, obviously, this Trophy Titans. But most definitely not completely unusable now. I feel like the pace element of him is definitely better. But it is coming down to that stiffness in dribbling, which will always have a massive factor with a striker. Especially one... If you wanted to play on his own or obviously in a pairing, you need somebody who is going to be available going forward to be able to either do it on his own or do it in a pairing. So he's going to stick in that AS. Then we have Fernando Torres Trophy Titans. Again, a lovely upgrade for this card. And I always felt that there was something missed with him. I feel like he should be an absolute easy S tier striker. And it's kind of like they're forcing it with him. This now upgrade is most definitely way, way better. And 100% going into that S with our man Vinny there. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Terrier starting to lose his flavor a little bit. We've had a very good run with him, but we've now... What uh, we've had Pires team of the year. We've obviously had a Rivaldo. Uh, what is it for birthday? I kind of want to say and in general there is a lot of good left mids that have produced themselves Vinny obviously being another factor there I do still like the card very much an 88 raid SBC still very good value to this day But he is slowly losing himself out and hopefully a team of this season will be right around the corner for him Then we have Suarez 89 rated from obviously the road to the World Cup. I want to say this card is but He's just not really viable anymore, to be honest. I feel like finishing-wise was always nice, but in terms of the card, he's just unfortunately not going to be presenting himself much in teams anymore. 91 Sonny Baby. Beautiful card. Obviously, no unfortunate team of the season, but who knows? An SBC, may, more than likely footies if we get to there very, very soon. But in terms of Son, he definitely needs an upgrade. Still a beautiful card to play with, but I would love to see now a 93-94 Son. But I don't feel like that's going to come for the next few weeks. Unless he does manage to get an SBC, a flashback team of the season would be outstanding. But he's still going to sit himself in that AS and I think it would be team of the season time that he would 
elevate himself. Then we have 89 Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Obviously had the upgrade to the 89. Lovely dynamic being a Man U fan myself. But in terms of the card doesn't really change too much to be honest i feel like he's very very similar to obviously his normal heroes card and unfortunately he's just going to miss out a little bit for me he's got the pace and the shooting and obviously the dribbling at a high standard but now we've leveled up to the 90s the 91 two threes unfortunately he's still going to miss out i felt like he needed this upgrade more than likely during the world cup during obviously the previous um fantasy foot heroes but unfortunately he did miss out on that so we are a little bit late for him and i just can't give him any more than an a one point that i thought with smolarek is that i thought he would really drop down in terms of relatability kind of being actually viable as a striker but he definitely smashed that first couple of weeks in being out I felt like he was getting his groove on, definitely felt like he got better over time, and half the time we don't see that with strikers, to be honest. Normally they cut them by half, or obviously they just feel a lot worse. Defenders get better, all of that yada yada. Very much like Voler, a three-star, four-star that could definitely do with the upgrade, but again, we are still waiting for him. Still think the pace is very good, the shooting's still incredible, and he's got a good amount of dribbling. It is just the actual play at the end of the day that we need a bigger upgrade for him but other than that he's definitely sitting in the as still for me we then have 93 sanchez honestly when this card came out i felt like he could have done a decent amount of damage to get that upgrade but 93 already is absolutely phenomenal for him i felt like he's well i think it was he did go to 92 first and then got a plus one obviously double upgrade from the start and i do think this card now is really a top contender in terms of a forward still not necessarily used an incredible amount but most definitely is pushing his way up there do i think he's on the same caliber as some of the s strikers we will be seeing i think he's still just off but he is a very very high contender for and a quality striker then we still have foot centurions sala here 93 rated still again he's managed to get himself a nominee i believe if i'm right nominees could be in SBCs. I don't know if it works out that non-nominees could get an SBC. I feel like Salah would be a perfect option to obviously drain as much fodder as possible because he's going to have to be very, very expensive if he gets a moment, a flashback, some sort of SBC to make him 95, 96. That would make a very good Prem team in a season, to be honest. And until then, he is going to chill in that AS still for me. And boy, oh boy, this card is going to be incredible once he gets that upgrade. Obviously, with the Honourable, I'm a big fan of him. Very, very good pace. Dribbling's nice. Obviously, shooting could do with a bit of work, and that is where an upgrade really would help him. But I do think in terms of how efficient this pricing is for him, as well as how good he actually is, Saka, for me, is an easy shout into that AS. St. Max holding on by a thread to be honest i think if it wasn't for the dribbling of this card dribbling plus pace obviously i do think he would be lower in this tier now but i do think he's still got a bit of play if you are a skiller if you're not he's still got the pace if you're looking direct down the wing he still can do that obviously the finishing you'd need a big upgrade for him you'd need a footed saint max which more than likely we will find in the coming months but for now I do think he's holding on in the AS. I'm, I may be mad with it, but I do think he's definitely killing himself in that AS still and just not letting down. We then have Ian Rush for birthday. Not necessarily a massive upgrade in terms of overall, but from a 3-star, 4-star to a 5-4, is impeccable that is a stunning upgrade for him doesn't necessarily put him in the s for me but in terms of a cheap striker coming in at eighty-eight thousand coins you've got yourself an option that's very good at a very reasonable price so for me as is an easy option we then have big boy waza 92 and again like rush gone from a three star four star to a five star four star still giving him a very good option up front i do like him as that cam center forward role as well if you've got somebody like an isaac maybe even somebody looking at the tier list probably like a Werner to be honest to really ramp up that pace going forward he's got the passing ability as well as then darting forward and getting the shot off himself the five star adds a nice dribbling element to him still not necessarily the top of the top which I was expecting from Rooney but he's definitely a big upgrade for him a five star four star is not what we've seen from Rooney and most definitely not what his career is all about but this card is still coming in clutch and I do think even if it's AS 
that's still a very high talisman for him. And then we have flashback CR7 and also his beautiful inform card. So we've got two of them just to kind of go with. Obviously, the SBC Ronaldo, a very good card. Cheap, reliable, always there. And Ronaldo in-game is just naturally very, very good. And I think that is just down to the coding. It's who he is. It's very much like an R9. He feels like he's got his own body type. And it doesn't matter the stats. He's still very reliable going forward. I'm not saying that next year is going to be the same. I'm hoping it is, but I do feel like he will drop down a lot. These two versions, flashback is good for the SBC. Obviously, you can get him pretty much for nothing. And then obviously, the inform is still not that expensive, but will give you a lot less pace, but obviously a bit more shooting, which is exactly what you want from him. I do think both of these are still sitting in a very good kind of state and will both sit in the AS. And obviously, if you are looking for his uh, rule breakers, that one I think would still be the same as well. Very, very good card regardless we then have the king himself trophy titans r9 an incredible card and it's the easiest one you could ever do if it's not s it's not r9 we then have rodrigo at an 87 been out for a long time now the fa uh, what is it the phenoms i believe it was from the world cup unfortunately we've not seen any more upgrades from him and i do think he's starting to now lose out a little bit with your sackers with your salas plus all of the other foot birthday icons in best jarzinho he's just not kind of with it so he's going to be knocked down to that a sbc rivaldo is up next with his 93 absolutely love this card a beautiful upgrade for him obviously sorting out his weak foot plus obviously an sbc that's out here until midway through team of the season i believe and i'm hoping he does present himself as a very good option in that left wing if you are managing to do that SBC. We're currently on the grind for him. Obviously, there is a lot of good SBCs out at the moment, but I do think for me, Rivaldo, with the upgrade, has put himself right in that category with the best of them. Richarlison, 90. SBC that was very expensive, but in terms of the card, if we be subjective with him, rather than looking at price, good pace, good shooting, dribbling, body types nice. I do think he's a solid striker if you did manage to get him done. There is plenty of options, obviously. This is not the only ASS striker that you could get, but I do think AS is simply where he belongs. And as we can imagine, Rule Breaker Ribery still kicking up a stink with him. 5-5, five, five, obviously very good dribbling, a little bit on the shorter side, which allows that Balance agility to really knock in and obviously with a left stick dribbling, you're going to look at a very fantastic and nimble card right here. If you obviously go with the Hunter, you get an incredible amount of pace as well as a very good upgrade on that shooting. Whether we see a footage with him as his final card, but we did get an SBC which is the same rating as a left wing. So we just go with the AS for him. Then we have SBC Raul. He's still obviously an SBC. He's only come out the past couple of days and we did get a review on him. If you want to check out any of the trophies titans we did most of the top ones so let me know what you think about him but raul for me good pace shooting was fantastic an absolute finisher and a half did feel a little bit blocky at times still even with the stats don't let them just proceed you and think 90 plus is always going to be outstanding as body type work rate all of the stuff that isn't on the overall stat will take a massive factor into it skill move weak foot height body type it is all massively important especially when you are comparing the best of the best if you're looking the difference between an r9 and a torres an r9 and a push gas there's very minor diff uh, differences which will allow a player to be extinct 19 mil straight away or come down to three mil there is a big difference raul for me is still sitting in that as though there is a lot of strikers at the moment that are at that top level we then have Raspadori, 89 center forward, very good body type, a little bit on the smaller side, obviously pace, shooting, dribbling, the standard stuff, but he does have a bit of physicality as well. I think a standard Serie A center forward here that will always be in that AS for me. We then have Arman Rashford at his 88 left wing. I pray that he is going to be team of the season. And there is a star-studded selection of, of forwards, midfielders, defenders that have really taken the Premier League this year. Whether we see a, a 95 Rashford, that would be absolutely outstanding. I do think this one was a little bit overpriced, especially if you do compare him to the 87. But obviously, he did have to rival his storage card, which I do think with the upgrade of the, the skill move, I want to say. Might have been weak foot or skill move. It's got to be one of them. 50-50. Skill move. Weak foot. But in terms of the 88, he's a standard. He's a good player. Very quick. 
Obviously, the dribbling side of it's nice, but he definitely needs that upgrade ASAP. 91 Phenoms Liao. Beautiful striker. Great pace, dribbling. You can obviously go with the chem style for the shooting. He is just a star-studded striker. And literally, if we see him in that Serie A striker team of the season, this card's going to be an absolute menace. He reminds me very much of a Ronaldo-esque sort of player. The height, the speed, the physicality side of stuff once he gets going. It's a very, very good striker. And if you've used him, you know why he's got to go in the S. Then we have Foot Birthday Pushgas stunning like there's very little words when it comes to these sort of strikers r9 push gas cruyff they are all absolutely elite of elite and it would be wrong to put him anywhere other than that s politano still kicking about with his winter wildcard sbc obviously the new year uh, what was the year in review packs had him in it so if you did manage to get him before doing the sbc then obviously you've made a very good choice there but 88 rated Standard, very much like Raspadori, got the pace, obviously got the dribbling, shooting wise could do with the upgrade and has an enormous amount of traits which I think was the whole point of the upgrade but still a solid option if you are looking for an SBC card still. Then we have Pyatt. This was a cracking card. I normally put him as striker, so that is why he's a cam in this attacking striker tier list. But in terms of a forward, he was brilliant. Definitely lost the value now because we have got so many SBCs. You've got a Cruyff, a Benyetta. There's just so many. So unfortunately, he will go out of the team or has gone out of the team. But that doesn't stop if you are using him still. The dribbling side of stuff is brilliant. He's got a great left stick dribble on him. He's got great pace. Obviously, with a Hunter, the finishing just becomes enormous. I still think this card could play and most definitely is going nowhere out of that AS. We then have 92 Papine. Beautiful card, obviously got another upgrade, which is absolutely brilliant for him. And I do think these came at a very good time for the obvious heroes that they did affect. In terms of him, he's an easy AS. I don't think there's uh, any arguments with there. A lot of the fantasy foots really hit the nail on the head. Then we have Owen Trophy Titans. Again, another striker that went from a 3-4 to a 5-4 and added a nice flavor to this card. And I do think in terms of the 91, we've got a triple upgrade from him. Obviously, in terms of stats, free on everything bar from passing and physicality, which both got a 7 upgrade, which is a big difference. It's not necessarily just a little informed difference like a lot of the players. For instance, Rooney and Rush both only got a plus 1. So we did get some cards that did get a very big upgrade, which adds a great element to the card. Owen himself, fodder. 91 rated, no. Nah. Prime Owen is just not going to do anything in anybody's team anymore, whereas the Trophy Titans really adds that next level to him, and I do think he's put himself back up in that AS, compared to more than likely a B at this point. We then have Oshiman, 88 rated player of the month. We are waiting for that big upgrade for him, and I do think the novelty is wearing off with him a little bit. I do like him as a card, but unfortunately, there is so many strikers that he's just got to take the... The nail out of it. It's very much like Vlahovic or vice versa. Both of them are similar. Obviously, Oshiman does have more pace, but they feel very similar in their output. I would like both of them to get more upgrades, and I think that's where it would be to be able to get in back into that AS for both of them. Then we have for birthday Darwin Nunes. Love this card. I've I've got a soft spot for the the player. Well, it was not the player of the month. The one to watch version of him was a cracking striker from the get go. The eighty two was rivaling the top strikers. Obviously, the game progresses. You'd see less and less. But now we've got a beautiful upgrade. It's only a plus two from his eighty seven one to watch. But adding the five star skill move or the uh, well the five star skill move or the five star weak foot, either version you pick. Obviously, I personally prefer. In terms of a striker, I like the five-star skills. It adds a great agility balance to him. But the weak foot, if he was kind of more left mid, again, is another different dynamic you can go with the card. The pace is fantastic. He's a big old unit with great physicality, great finishing. And obviously, you can go with a great chem style. With 95 pace, I don't need any more. For me, maybe other people's opinions, but I really like Nunes. I think he does really well in game, and he's got to go in the S. We then have Nkunku. Again, this card from Path to Glories, I believe it was, 92 rated, still absolutely sensational. Don't get why they bought out a Foot Birthday 89. I know it's got the upgrades on it, but in terms of going for the 92 or the 89, even though it is an SBC, you'd always choose the 92. So it's 
one of them that I just think is it is what it is. But the 92 is still absolutely top tier and it doesn't go anywhere other than S. Enketia Future Stars. We're getting back to the proper roots of these really, really young boys who have had very good seasons. But in terms of the 89, it's a lovely upgrade for him. Obviously, from a silver into an 89 rated card, a great upgrade nonetheless. Good for the Arsenal past and present. But in terms of the actual card striker ability... The stats can show you one thing, but in-game definitely shows you another. And I do think he still needs that bit of an upgrade, which with time, who knows? Neymar's quite an easy one. 90 rated cam, or 91 rated cam. Would be nice to see the team of the season. I feel like he's done enough. And if EA have any option to be able to put him in, they'll put him in. So I'm not worried that he won't get a 97, 98 this year. Praying he does, because that card's going to be absolutely crazy. But the 91 still most definitely top of the top. We then have Mukhtar. Again, one that, to be honest, I, I really don't think there's too much explaining for. Free card from obviously... Oh no, was it an SBC? I think he was... Was he a choice? I think he was an objective choice that you could go with. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. There's no more, There's no point going too much into him. He's fodder at this point. We then have Mudrik, future star. Love this card. Great winger, obviously in the Prem. 94 pace. He has got that ability to go forward and obviously get goals as well as being that crossing, assisting left mid, left wing as well. I think he's a solid, solid card, but he won't go anything above AS just yet. Morientes then. 92 fantasy foot. A stunning card. We loved his World Cup version. The SBC of him was absolutely brilliant. And I don't know why. Because in terms of actual stats, in-game, body type, the whole shebang, it looks very average. And yet, his speed was good. Finishing has obviously always been top top class for him. And even his dribbling was very nice. This card most definitely replicates the same. I don't feel like he has that massive surprise factor now compared to the hero to the World Cup. It seemed like a big jump. Whereas the fantasy foot... I'm kind of expecting it. So he's a standard striker, but by no means is he ordinary. We then have Matoma Fantasy Foot. Now rated a 90 rated card. A great season for the Brighton player. And it is a shame that I just don't see him being able to get into that team in a season. Unless they are choosing some lower options. It depends on how they lay it out and what gets what basically. Is he going to be classed as a midfielder being a left mid? Or obviously is he going to be classed as a forward? According to the vote, he's a forward, so whether he sticks to that will be the next question. But I do think he's definitely put himself in the option. And this card most definitely is a left mid. It's very, very good. 90 rated, you can't argue with it. And I do think he's deserved his spot. Team of the Year Messi, is there much arguing to be honest? He is an absolute stunning, stunning player. He's very expensive and rightly so. He is a game changer like anybody. And following him straight behind there is going to be Mbappe. Team of the years, especially the forwards, tend to be the best forwards you can get for a long time. And again, both of them in for the shout of team of the season, I think. Mbappe most definitely. Messi, I feel like again, if they've got a, if they've got any shot to put him in, they'll put him in. Martinez next, and it seems like the Serie A are always not getting the love here. In terms of the 89, a solid striker, but most definitely falling down now, to be honest. I don't feel like he's really giving you anything different. That's why he's going straight in the A. 91 Martial, cracking card. Still got the chance of the upgrade. Obviously, it goes into the second leg being 2-2, I want to say. So, it will be interesting to see can he get that upgrade now that both uh, centre-backs are completely destroyed for the rest of the season. Hopefully, they can bring it out of the bag because this card needs another upgrade because he is absolutely top quality. And if he can get any more, you always take it. Top tier striker, very expensive with obviously the ability still to be upgraded, but beautiful if you can get him. We then have 93 Mane, obviously the flashback from team of the year, a very good addition and hopefully either he gets another one at footies or we see a big upgrade somewhere. I don't personally know how he's done at Bayern, so if you do know, let me know down below. But in terms of what I've seen with the card, we've got him personally and he's a good left mid, but he's definitely not the level of some of the left wings we have seen. Mara is still kicking about with his Centurions SBC. The highest rated Mane, uh, Mara as you can get obviously does have an inform as well if you did want to go for that, if you've missed out of the SBC. But in terms of what you can get from him, a standard right mid. Nothing too crazy, nothing too rubbish to be honest. He's got a very good balance. Pace wise is decent. The dribbling is very nice. I think that's what attracted me to him more. And then obviously he's got a bit of finishing as well. 
just in case you need that. And I think easily AS material by a landslide. Maduki up next with the footballers, 87 rated. A nice card. If you've done all of the footballers, uh, I think the set of objectives was very good. I don't say it's the perfect executed promo we've had, but most definitely it's a nice step in the right direction if they are doing upgraded cards, because that's what we see a lot of now. Road to the finals, footballers with the upgrades, fantasy foots, and obviously path to glories and many, many more. If that is the route they're going, I'm all for it. I like upgrading cards. I think it's something that they should do more. And it adds a level to a card that starts off as, what, an 83, 84? But then you've got the option to get the 88, the 89, the 90. I think it's nothing but a dub. Unfortunately, but even if he is a free card, it doesn't mean he gets a free pass into that AS. And I think he still sticks at a bog standard A for me. Lucas Mora, 88. And this card is... Somewhat disappointing, to be honest. I expected him to be very good, and I just think he's average. He's got the stats, 94 pace, 91 dribbling. He's got the pace down the wing, but in terms of the actual card, there's nothing. Past few years, he's had something that really works. I don't know if it's just the game style that really does work with Lucas Moura, but now I don't see him. I very rarely ever used him, and I think he is just, unfortunately, very, very bog standard. Good old Freddy Lumberg that I believe did get an upgrade. Maybe wrong here, but I don't think it makes a massive difference. He did get an upgrade. I thought he did. So he is now an 89 Trophy Titans. Still a four-star, four-star. Literally no massive upgrade. Ones and twos across everything. And to be honest, where I was going to put him anyway is probably where I was going to put that card as well. I think in terms of the left mids, we've got so many of them that I just don't think he adds any value. Where did it go wrong for Lewandowski? 93 rated, no extra informs. Whether he's done enough for team of the season, again, let me know down below if you think he's done enough, but we need a massive upgrade for him. And not only just even overall, but a plus one, plus two is not going to do it. We need a big pace upgrade. We need everything to go in this card's favor like it has done in the past because at the minute, He's very he's screaming, very bog standard for such a high rated. Then we go to Lamella. Again, another card that I think is very good stat-wise. Stat-wise is brilliant. He's got the pace, he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing. Obviously, the shooting at 89 and a good amount of physicality. In-game, it's just a different picture. And we see that with a lot of cards. There is a few cards that go to that next height. They look good. They definitely feel a lot better. And some cards just don't perform. And I think for me, Lamella has never been able to do it in the top of the top. And unfortunately, there's no difference for this card. We then do have Lacazette Winter Wild Card. A great card when he came out. And like most of them, they slowly fall down. There's some elements with him that I do think is very nice. And I did put him, to be honest, at more of the topper of the AS in terms of when he first came out. Now we're starting to see a lot of strikers that just have everything that he has. I do think he's probably still in the AS at the moment. But... He's very much not far away from going all the way down. Now a player that we're not going to give the enjoyment of trying to pronounce that name. But the Georgian Napoli... Napoli? Yeah, Napoli left wing is incredible. A great future star. One of the proper upgrades. Like Mudrik, it was a beautiful card when he came out. And I do think he still has elements where he could upgrade. Obviously, the passing, physicality, shooting is at a, a good standard. But it's the pace and dribbling and just naturally how good the card is in-game that carries him through. Don't think he's quite S category, but most definitely he sits himself in a very good AS tier. Kulovetsky footballer up next, and again, another great addition to the footballers. We got a lot of decent ones. Whether they were actually incredible in game is a different story. I do like this card, but he is, again, very bog standard in terms of a right wing. We've got endless, endless amount of right wings that can do exactly the same. Then we have Foot Birthday Cliver, a lovely four star, five star upgrade. Good four increase on the pace, obviously two on everything else, and I believe one on the passing, I want to say. Yeah, just one on the passing, two on everything else, and four on the pace. Adds a very good kind of dynamic to the card, obviously, like we like we imagine. The pace has got to be the main element for him. The five star weak foot adds a great element, and in general, he's always had a good finish on him. It doesn't take him to the S, unfortunately, but I do think as a mid to lower AS, solid. Then we have Closer. 
Unfortunately, I don't think there's too much you can do because I do think this body type of him is just too blocky anyway. You could add the 5-5, five five, you can add 99 pace. He's still going to feel very blocky, but with a great finish. Like most icons of Ian Rush standard, of a Cliver, to be honest, and yada yada, you can pick through as many names as possible. They're still going to have that in-game body. And that, unfortunately, is where Closer, unfortunately, doesn't, ma doesn't match up. Nice upgrade to his actual card in terms of a Closer, the best one we've got. But, unfortunately, not the best striker that we have got in the game. Harry Kuehl Fantasy Foot is up next with his 91 upgraded card. And I do rate this card highly. Very quick, very good at the shooting, very good passing, and also a nice amount of dribbling, which just adds to this card nicely. Honestly, an incredible left wing if you haven't chose him. We used his normal heroes a long time ago, and this card is no exception other than brilliance. Robbie Keane comes up next with his World Cup. Obviously an SBC way, way back in the World Cup era, and I think still a good card today. Obviously, if you've got him as an SBC, cost think just over half a mil so if you are trying to use him still then you're going to make sure that he can work but his finishing's always been good and if you can get him in the positions he's going to be a naturally very good striker anyway and I do think he's probably now tailing towards the lower of the AS whether we see another one coming soon maybe Prem Heroes if we did but unfortunately yeah, we don't know anything about that yet but he will stick himself in the AS still. It seems to be I'm not liking all of the Tottenham players but Son is in the AS just as an extra in terms of Kane, I've just never got on with him. His team of the season at a 98, 97 is very good. And obviously, you can imagine why. He's at the top of the top rating you possibly can get. There is no upgrade after that. That is like the total last version. And you either get on with it or you don't. And with the stats, he's normally relatively okay. A pace upgrade, obviously a bit more dribbling, a bit more balance. But this card, unfortunately is now tailing off massively. Very much like a closer. If Kane came back as a hero icon, you'd imagine him to be very similar. Jesus with his winter wild card. Again, it's an unfortunate circumstance with him obviously not being voted into the team of the season, out with an injury or was out with an injury for a fair few weeks. We've not seen a big upgrade for him. We managed to get a non-performance base one with his winter wild card. And I do think he's solid, but most definitely not necessarily going to be in too many people's teams. Now, this is an incredible foot birthday. Jarzinho is an absolute magician. 93 rated, and he has absolutely everything. The pace, the dribbling, the finishing. Just an all-round incredible right wing. And even can play him at striker if you want as well. We then have Isaac with his 92 rated inform or fantasy foot. But a beautiful beautiful card i saw a lot of people not rate him highly if you've ever played with him or played against him against a semi-decent opponent he is an absolute machine going forward always reminds me of an ebra s card as we see here which always works out very well and i'm always surprised that he's behind him but both eyes both absolutely incredible swedish internationals we then have hazard a lovely 91 managing to actually make an appearance as well coming off the bench was lovely to see because if you remember chelsea hazard that guy was an absolute machine and unfortunately through whatever faults of anybody he's just not necessarily carried on and primed on his career with Real Madrid but it's nice to always see a big upgrade for a hazard in any FIFA and I do think this card is absolutely brilliant hopefully can get the rest of his upgrades but we'll have to wait and see for the rest of them again like any team in a year Haaland's Haaland he's gonna get a team of the season whether that's a higher rated one will be the question I'm kind of hoping it does hit 98 as obviously a record-breaking season already and there is still eight seven eight games left i don't know how many man city have played but a beautiful season to initialize himself into the prem let alone kick on with a bit of experience next year is going to be very interesting to see what he can do but this year he's s in every card and will always be s in every card if he continues now he's a surprising one and one that i was saying with a card that necessarily looks really good but is terrible griezmann as a card is very bog standard 87 pace 89 shooting same as the passing 92 dribbling and 85 physical in terms of in-game overall there's nothing special there if you actually play with him you will see an absolute baller on the pitch he is absolutely fantastic his left stick dribbling's good finishing solid you add the chem style you get a bit of pace naturally a born striker and i think for me terms of in-game 
I can't put him lower than S. He really is that good. And if you've not tried him, try him. Now we've got Grealish and... Again, he's got a 90 rated. Don't know why that one's not in here. But in terms of the 90 Grealish footballer, obviously he is a cam. That's probably where he's gone and gone mixed. But in terms of the 90 version, a very nice card. I do like the left wing. Obviously with the cam, he still can play there. And he has just that little extra increase as well as, I think, a skill move, I want to say. If we quickly have a look. I want to say it was the skill move that got upgraded from a 4-star, 3-star. Yeah, it must have been. To a... Oh... Maybe not. So he's still a four-star, three-star. That's very shocking. I thought he did get the upgrade because the four-star, four-star would make sense. In terms of the upgrade from the 89s, it's ones and twos. So it's an upgrade anyway. He'd still sit in the same position regardless of which version's on here. Both of them are AS. And I don't think either one of them make too much of a difference if you didn't finish him. We then have Govu as a World Cup. Again, very much like a lot of these World Cups, is dying for an upgrade. Needs something special and unfortunately is sl slightly falling but behind the waistline really. It'll be interesting to see where he kind of goes in the future. But for now, he's definitely in that A and that's it. We then have Gordon as a future star. Little bit of reasons why a lot of people probably didn't do him due to the foot champs requirements. But in terms of the card himself, he's definitely not bad. Great pace down the wing. He definitely feels quicker than what actually the card suggests. And definitely the dribbling. Looking pretty good. He is definitely on the lower side of the AS. I would much prefer a lot of different wingers. Especially even if you just went for Prem wingers. But still definitely in that topper end. If I say so myself. We then have Guarez as the ATA SBC. Still the chance of an, an I think an inform. I don't think they got battered. But they might have done actually. No, they got battered, 2-0. So, uh, whether we see an upgrade, it's very, very slim. Unless they go back, well, if they go to Inter and win, then obviously he can do. But the likely chance, very slim. In terms of the card, though, I think in terms of in-game, really, really good pace. Finishing's good. A nice card and always has been. Some of the Portuguese league have some really good cards in-game rather than naturally seeing 94, 93 rateds everywhere. We then have Mario Gomez, a beautiful upgraded to now 91. Still feels very similar with a lot of these upgrades. They're just plus ones. You may get a plus two every now and then. But in terms of what we can see from his 90 to his 91, there is very little difference. Still a little bit blocky. Incredible finishing as always. And a little bit of a pace element to get you off the line. Then we go back to another top tier striker in Ginola. 92 rated now, a beautiful fantasy foot, and a 5 star 5 star that rivals R9. There's not much more you can say then. Put him in the S. We then have 91 Martinelli. Beautiful card. Definitely looks like he could do with a serious upgrade overall. Pace and dribbling's nice. Obviously has a little bit of shooting, but definitely could do with that bit more just to help him become a bit of a force going forward. And I think that is the difference when, or if we see a difference between a team of the season, Martinelli and Rashford, both of them could use it, but in different aspects. I think both of them are top, top of the Prem, but they are both in the AS. Then we have Diego Forlan, Trophy Titans. Love this card. He was very good at finishing. I did feel like the stats were a little bit misleading at times, but in terms of the finishing aspect, he was absolutely wonderful. And I think that somewhat sometimes does overtake everything else because finishing-wise, he was there, right positions, right time, great shots, and that's all we need. But he's not necessarily going to go in the AS, uh, the S for me by any shot. We then have Philly Foden, 90 rated. It feels like a long time since we've seen anything from him, to be honest, from Man City, from in-game. There has been nothing since the team of the tournament, and I do think it's a nice card. In terms of left stick, that's where he really kind of takes the role, and I do like him more as a cam than kind of going forward massively, because the passing and dribbling element together is very nice. So he's going to stick to his AS, but unfortunately, we need to see a bit more from him if he's going to go and progress a bit more. Bobby Firmino, 91. Beautiful card. It was an upgrade that, to be honest, I just didn't see happening. Unfortunately, whether we're going to see an upgrade is going to be very slim. They've got to go over to Real Madrid and really take it to them. Whether they can is going to be the question, and we will see that very soon. But for this card right now... It's a solid card. It's not necessarily his best, but most definitely still undeniably an AS at the minimum. Judging from other strikers, he's got to be in that same category. 
Ferran Torres, obviously no upgrades available now. And I think for me, he needed them. There was an element that he could have been really good if they did obviously progress past United. Whether it's going to be any upgrades from now until footies, very unlikely. And unfortunately, we'll sit in the A. Now, a five-star, five-star Felix. This card is elite. Absolutely elite. He's one of my fan favorites. We used him last year with his Adidas Up promo, and he was incredible. This time round, he does have a winter wild card, but it is obviously the foot birthday that has got the 5-5, five five, and he is incredible with it. The pace is brilliant. Obviously, the shooting could do with work, but with a hunter, you're adding a different element to him, and he's already got an incredible amount of dribbling as well. For me, I think he's personally top tier. Whether you agree, let me know down below. We then move on to a big one in Eusebio for birthday. Honestly, I thought the reception for him would have been massive. A first time 5-5 five, five Eusebio and still, as we imagine, absolutely outstanding. Any version of him is, this card is just the best one we've seen so far from him. And he's obviously flying his way up into that S category without a shadow of a doubt. Unfortunately with Alanga, there is no difference with him, unfortunately. Still a good upgrade for his future star from obviously a silver, but most definitely just becoming less and less relevant, obviously, with every right wing, right mid from the Prem or none that we do see him without another upgrade. El Shawari, a beautiful throwback card that I think everybody loved to see. And it was, I think, a problem at the start. I want to say he had a, a stat that was wrong. He is a five-star, three-star, which I believe he already was. Gone from, obviously, the 88 to the 89. The upgrade just doesn't make any sense. I think the weak foot most definitely needed that upgrade to really put him in any category, to be honest. I think it was just a pointless waste of a card unfortunately if he did get the 5-4 or the 5-5 that could have had some legs with him but for this he's just not going to fit in very much we then have donovan with another cracking upgrade for him obviously going from 88 to 89 he started his journey with his 86 hero so he is slowly getting up there and in terms of an mls squad Never going to argue, to be honest. The stats look nice. He is, again, very, very average in terms of what you can expect. Four-star, four-star still, which is a good balance. He's one of them cards that's consistent, but nothing outrageous. So he's going to still stick in the A. I feel like if we looked at maybe the hit, the normal hero version now, we'd probably be looking most definitely B. And maybe the World Cup would start to be going into that B. But I do think he's pumped himself back up into an A. We then have Jota as a 90 rated that has been confirmed from yesterday's performance he will be a 92 going forward that is going to be a great element to this card i do feel like there is a, a, a likeness to him and felix both being a little bit shorter than most but obviously having the pace the dribbling the good amount of shooting it is just down to the physicality that we need to see more and obviously with jota going up to a 92 could add a very good element so stay tuned for that be in the next tier list but also we might see him on another review as well we then have Luis Diaz as one of the first footballers we managed to get. Obviously, he came out with a, an 86 SBC, then moving himself into an 88. Again, with the, the dynamics, love them. Apparently, ballers just wear training gear. But in terms of the, the extra boost for him, it's, I think, his first card we've got. I, I don't think we've had much more from him. Obviously, in terms of uh, what we've seen for Luis Diaz, he had a footballers, and I think that was it. Yeah, so he's had his normal gold card at 84, and this is the first technically double upgrade he's had since then. So a nice addition to him. Obviously adds another extra element to a Liverpool squad, and I think most definitely fits in in that AS. We then have one of my favourite Serie A strikers in the game, Fantasy Foot Di Natale. This card is an absolute joke. The pace is brilliant, the finishing's good. I'm still using the normal hero version, and he absolutely rips it. So this version, we've got a review on him, who is outstanding. Nothing other than S needed. We then have Di Maria coming from the team of the tournament. Again, another card that was very cheap to get done and I do think is a very good winger and slowly comes out of it mainly because of the weak foot. But I still think in terms of the actual ability of the card has a little bit of play still. We then have Depay at a 90 now. SBC was rather expensive, so we didn't actually complete him. We managed to have a look at a few reviews of his upgraded card, his non-upgraded card, and just generally seen him in-game 
every now and then. It's not like every player is rocking him, but there is still a few out there that do like a bit of Depay up front. I'm personally not a massive fan of the card this year. I feel like last year, once he kind of got to the end result, was solid. But unfortunately, the prior to that just didn't have any play. This version, though, from what people are saying is relatively solid. We then have Dembele as the 87 Winter Wild card, still kicking about, very much like St. Max, couldn't figure the card then, still got the ability, even though the upgrade is a long time ago. The beautiful 5-5 from him, the pace, the dribbling, the just general aspect of the card in game, obviously with his very agility style based play, is wonderful to see. He will definitely fall down, so we do definitely need to see an upgraded card soon, but for now, I'm going to leave him in the AS. Then we have Del P. A five-star, five-star Del P. It is magic. Del P is one of my favorite icons, especially in terms of Italy. Maldini, not included in that. Del P is incredible from his base version. Prime adds a good amount of value, but this version is insane. A 5-5 five -five Del P is a straight straight S category of a card. We then have another player who I cannot pronounce the name and I'm pretty sure he had an easy first name, but unfortunately I don't have the look the luxurity. We then have a player that, again, I can't pronounce his name. A, a D, we'll just call him D. But 90 rated from AC Milan, loved the SBC for this one. You obviously had the left wing or the striker. The striker was always gonna be the option and it is a wonderful forward for AC Milan and most definitely in deserve of an AS performance. And again, going back to Spurs players, not good enough. We've obviously got the Kulaveski. We've got the left mid in Dan Juma. I like Dan Juma and I do think he is a player that could have had that ability, but I just didn't find it in this card. And I don't know what it is when we got the objective, obviously, for Villarreal. I think last year and even the start of this year, he was a wonderful card. The pace was there. The dribbling was nice. The finishing was felt all right. Now, unfortunately, it's just average. We then have another icon upgrade for King Kenny. Like Del P, he has managed to get himself a 5-5. Five -five. Prime base mid was always a very accessible card that is cheap enough and still gives you a very good output. This card is on a new level. 5-5 five -five anybody from the upgrade. If they are semi-good, the 5-5 five -five normally adds a whole different dynamic to the card. And I think King Kenny is indeserving of that gracious s spot we then have fantasy foot peter crouch a lovely five star skill move with him and i think the novelty will wear off with him in the future whether we see a 90 plus peter crouch would be very interesting but they did a wonders on this card because hero and world cup yeah hero and world cup straight b from release straight b this card actually had me enjoying Peter Crouch's gameplay a little bit, mainly just watching him do a Rabona, a Bicey, an overhead from about 20 yards with a power shot is very interesting to see with him. And obviously the skill moves add a different level to him. But unfortunately, in terms of an actual striker, he's not going to compare to a lot of these. And that is just unfortunate. But I do think he does keep himself in the A as I do like the five-star skills from him. We then have Correa, who seems like a lifetime Ago that we got this upgrade a beautiful 89 great striker nothing too crazy in terms of what he can give you other than great pace dribbling and shooting and that's it he's a very no-nonsense sort of card and will give you what's on the tin we then have Chiesa as the 88 again not a bad card he's got the pace and dribbling as a right wing or a left wing in fact with this version a very good wing play in terms of forward, he's not going to give you crazy amounts, but I do like his kind of help from that diagonal runs from the left and right, crossing it across box, maybe cutting it back a little bit, and maybe just maybe going for a shot himself at some point. He's definitely not bad, and if we do see the team of the season, I think it's a nice card to get. We then have Cahill, who feels like he's fell off a cliff. There's just no news about him, no upgrade for him, and I think that is definitely where it's kind of going wrong. If we do manage to get the upgrade, and if it's a, at least a triple or even a four, it could be such a solid card because the stats are just on point to be that next level player. But unfortunately, with the World Cup, he's just running it down, unfortunately, and will slowly sink into that A. Brolin is still definitely up there with the best of them. Really like this card still. The pace is always good. Finishing is normally quality from him, and he has a good amount of agility. Being, again, a smaller striker, agility play is always very good with him. We managed to get him at the start of the game a few times now with all the picks we've had, and I still think to this day 
is definitely in the AS still. Then we have Georgie Best as a 94. They couldn't have done Jarzinho with obviously out Best as well. And I think, again, another player that is just added levels to the card. Not necessarily the greatest upgrade, and I do think Jarzinho is still better, but he's still very much an S card by a, by a landslide. We then have Trophy Titans Burkamp. And honestly, if you've ever used this card, incredible. Great finisher on the ball, adds a different element. He's got a bit of pace on him. Obviously, the dribbling with the left stick's nice. And I do think for the price of what you can get him for, he is an absolute steal of a trophy titan. And also, the, the, the dynamics fire. Always got to go in that AS, and he will stick there. Kareem the Dream, a 97 team of the year. Again, we don't need to really uh, kind of go too much into it. More than likely a team of the season. Whether, again, it goes higher than his previous will be the interesting factor. I'm just praying it's not one less. As that, again, I'd rather have it 97 and 97 than to be 96 and 97. But Kareem the Dream is always in the S. Then we have Ben Yedder. Uh, again, uh, with, with this sort of card, he's just an absolute joke. 89 rated, and yet he feels like he just scores everything. Him and Mbappe up front are always the top quality, and there's just no other place than an S striker for him. We then have Bamford as the final footballer in this list, I want to say. But in terms of what he can give you, it's a nice upgrade for him. In terms of a Leeds past and present, it's not bad. But unfortunately, he's just still... Even with that 99 dribbling, very, very blocky. And I don't, and this is what I say when they add any sort of element to the card, it always comes down to that body type. It comes down to the actual in game animations from him height, body type, work rate, different stats around. It doesn't matter if it's all 99, they don't always go that way. We then have Bulungan, who is a beautiful 87. Unfortunately, the upgrade is nice, and it came at level 30 from the season previous, and now it's probably coming out of sort of recommendations for teams. But in terms of the striker himself, it's a nice free card at the minimum, but I do think in terms of what he can give you now... There's nothing other than the fact that it's free. We then have my man Gareth Bale, who is a stunning card still. If you've done this SBC, hats off to you, because as a, personally, a bench player for me, he is amazing. The strength is incredible. The finishing, the passing, he is such an impact sub that you definitely needed to have done. Whether we see another upgraded of him later on will be interesting, but this version is still top quality. And then we have Aubameyang. I think he's one off the, the kind of last one. It's quite an easy one for him. I still rate the card. Very, very nice forward. And obviously has a bit of pace for him as well. Which is why I think AS is still normally where I'd put him. Then we have Anthony, the 88 rated right wing. Got a foot birthday. Nice upgrade for him. Obviously not going to get in team of the season, which we... we didn't really have to put two and two together, but a lovely upgrade for his pace, his dribbling. Obviously, shooting-wise is the only thing that really lacks him down. And in terms of a dribbler, you're looking at a very good one. In terms of Prem as well, you're getting a nice little action from him. And I think it would be wrong to say anything other than AS, but I do think there is still a bit of work to go with him. Maybe footies could really sort him out with a 90+. plus. We then have Antonio. Nice for birthday, not going to lie. Very generic in terms of what we've kind of been given. Obviously, in terms of skill move, I'm pretty sure he did get the upgrade for a skill move. If I can even find him on the list. Yeah, we managed to go from a 4-star, 3-star to a 4-star, 5-star. Adds a good element to him. Only 108 f 45 k from, obviously, the SBC. So, if you did manage to get him done, he's not a bad striker. But he's definitely not going to give you... The levels of the S tier. It's just not happening. But as a very good AS tier, never going to argue. Then we have Future Star Alvarez. One of my favorite Future Stars you could get. There is obviously a few others in different positions. But Alvarez was immense. A great finisher. Had the pace. Had the dribbling. Had the shooting. Just everything about this card screams that he is going to be the player that we could imagine. Whether we see a footies which is 95, 96 rated. That could really push this card absolutely massive. So for me, it's an easy S for him. And no doubt. Al Waran at Fantasy Foot. Once we managed to get him, we knew that this card was going to be incredible. Still has the absolute maxed out pace. Obviously a bit more on the dribbling and shooting now. And still as good as ever as a forward. He just is brilliant. He's managed to get a one upgrade from his 89. I don't think, well, I don't think he's ended to be able to get the 91 yet. But it's very, very unlikely at the minute. But still, always going in the S. 
We then have Al Jabba, 90 rated SBC. In terms of the card, value wise, was incredible. Absolutely brilliant. Very much like a Lineker World Cup sort of card. The SBC was very easy to complete. And I do think the 90 rated card is a solid striker. Whether you want links with Ronaldo, with Al Warren, he can obviously give it as well as then already having free himself. But I do think now we're starting to tail off from that sort of striker. So he's going to go in that A and he's going to stick there. But as a fodder player, not bad. We then have foot birthday Alessandrini. What what FIFA wouldn't be complete without an Alessandrini card? You just know it's going to happen. With this one, a nice upgrade to his foot birthday. It's going to give you the Alessandrini effect. 90 pace, 88 dribbling. He's a very smaller, uh, smaller sort of striker, which would give you that agility bonus as well. And he was completely free. Never going to argue with that. And he sticks himself in the AS. And finally, we finish with Adeyemi, who again is going to just stick himself where he already is. To be honest, I thought this tier list would be a little bit lower in what we've seen, but this is going to be it. This is a beautiful tier list, if I do say so myself. Some absolute ballers at the top. Let me know, like I say down below, what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this video. And if you want to check out the one on screen, that's always perfect as well. Take care. Peace.